Good evening and welcome to the Radical series. We're going to discuss today attachment and the need for detachment. So most of us are attached to something or the other in our life. It could be anything. It could be even money. So we could be attached to money and the experiences that we think money generates for us. It could be power, it could be position, authority, fame, recognition. And interestingly, if you observe yourself, like take a step back, you will realize that sometimes we are so attached to money because we feel that uh, with money we will, not, we will feel worthy, we will feel love or many such emotions. But when you step back and you look at it, you realize that even with money, you can still feel unworthy, you can still feel unloved and so on. Some of us are very attached to people, in, uh, especially in some close relationships. We are, very clo we are very attached to that relationship. We are very attached to what we experience in that relationship. And we have this very common belief that attachment is an expression of love. So for us, most of them who uh, uh, feel that kind of love tend to get attached. Now again, I'm going to ask you to take a step back. Look at one of your close relationships that you're very attached to. So take a minute and just think about it. Now look at that relationship and you will realize that it is because of your attachment you are actually not able to enjoy that relationship to the fullest. It's like you will see that you're, because of this attachment to the person, to that experience in that relationship, you are most of the time insecure and which results in pain or some kind of suffering. You also realize that you spend most of your time and energy anticipating the end of the relationship or the change in the dynamics of the relationship. We are very scared that the form of the relationship changes. So most of the time we are always spending energy anticipating things which are actually illusionary by nature because they have not even happened but there is so much of fear of the future that you are always engulfed with it. So you realize sometimes that too much of attachment can inhibit you, it somewhere binds you and it holds you back. It even curtails you from putting your best foot forward even in a relationship because you are so scared of the hurt sometimes that uh, not only do you stop putting your best foot forward, you also start becoming indifferent. How many of you feel and say sometimes that, oh, I have now uh, evolved a lot and now I'm detached and uh, I don't care and I have moved on. This is something that is very commonly used by us that I don't care, it doesn't matter to me, I am, uh, it doesn't affect me. Now this is sometimes actually not true detachment. This is indifference. So indifference is different from detachment. So what is indifference? Indifference is when you actually are trying to escape from the pain. It's like a defense mechanism that helps you escape the pain. And you are actually worried that uh, that uh, a relationship or something can hurt you. So what you do is you somewhere start portraying indifference in the guise of detachment and it is not only people it could be uh, it could be elements like money uh, some some of us use this very casually i don't care for money it's okay uh, money comes money goes i am not uh, attached to money and i so but if you look at it deeply and we have worked with many students we realize that it's basically indifference 
which is an escape mechanism arising out of undue attachment to money because sometimes the pain is so much that we rather be indifferent so why do we get attached why what is the main reason for getting attached the reason why we all get attached is coming out of ignorance and desires which also come out and arise out of ignorance and non acceptance of of all the experiences that we go through and the non acceptance comes because of our lower level of awareness and our lower level of consciousness because it's only when we somewhere uh, connect to the higher consciousness and we evolve and become more aware can we somewhere see the larger universal plan for us we can see the predetermined events that have been laid out for us for our learning and growth it's only with higher awareness will you be able to see the brilliance and all that is so what happens in the moment we are so we only see limited options and they are known to us they are comfortable to us and so we remain attached because we just cannot see the future possibilities which actually could be for the better and so we remain extremely attached so it is important for all of us today to understand that attachment is actually creating more disadvantage than otherwise and we need to somewhere move and work towards detachment is this sort of word it is actually something that we can work towards because only when you're detached to uh, people to places to opportunities what happens is you can move more easily forward in the chosen direction you can actually uh, put your best foot forward because of the detachment arising from the awareness of the transientness of all that is so that is important then uh, detachment is also important because somewhere it's truly liberating and somewhere you rise above the need to escape these uh, unpleasant experiences with indifference and you rise beyond the pain or the possibility of pain and you are able to see the larger picture more clearly it's like when you detached you can actually move from one moment to the other moment enjoying every moment to the fullest it's like you um, enjoy and uh, enjoy the benefit and the uh, fulfillment at every moment and every experience rather than getting stuck at one point and understanding that everything is transient and that is uh, a beautiful way to flow in life and to know that this is the moment and that is all that exists and when this moment passes it will be replaced by something better and a lot of us somewhere uh, want to have fulfilling relationships all of us want that we want to have um, we want to manifest abundance in our life i have a lot of students uh, coming to me and asking me i want to ma uh, manifest a fulfilling relationship i want to manifest abundance and then i tell them that the secret to attracting loving relationships and abundance is actually detachment and then they don't understand that how can detachment attract abundance because what is detachment detachment is you becoming a neutral observer with higher awareness uh, and with higher consciousness and you somewhere understand the transientness of all that is and then you flow from one moment to the other so what happens is uh, for example if uh, like if we're talking about money now if you if you want to uh, manifest abundance but if you're constantly thinking of um uh, your attachment you're constantly thinking that you don't have you're constantly thinking of lack then you vibrate at that lack frequency and then you project that itself but the more you become neutral the more you become detached that that frequency is easier for you to then attract abundance in life 
so detachment is the key to having fulfilling relationships and all and actually having fulfilling experiences in life so how do we work towards detachment because it's not a very is this not a conceptual uh, word but it is truly uh, possible that you gradually walk uh, towards that uh, that being and that state of being where you can be neutral uh, neutrally observant of everything in life so the first is the first step to detachment is to address your emotions that arise out of undue attachment so especially all your insecurities your fears so with the radical tools and techniques and with the r5 word we can somewhere work with your emotions second is to make a list of all your beliefs and all your conditions with respect to love attachment like i had given you an example that for a lot of us there is this very strong belief that been coming uh, over uh, our ancestors and from generations that attachment is an expression of love so we even need we can even work with that or work with whatever beliefs and conditions you have the third is you can work with your guilt or regret of making others attached to you in the past so we can uh, work with radical statements to work with that guilt and another very interesting exercise that you can do is that uh, maybe for the this coming week somewhere take a step back and become an observer to everything that you are attached to so observe yourself what is it that you are really attached to why are you so attached to that whether it's a relationship a person what is it that you are getting out of that relationship observe it from a distance it's like how when you go for a move when you go to see a movie and you observe uh, objectively and more neutrally uh, what is happening in the movie and you are able to then kind of decipher thing more easily it's only when we are too into everything we are not able to decipher with our wisdom so do this exercise for a week and just distance yourself and observe your own self of what you are attached to why are you so attached to it what are the benefits so it's about more about uh, introspection this week and it's only when you start gradually working on this and you start evolving you will start realizing that you will realize a very interesting thing that not only obviously you, uh, you kind of imbibe the transientness of all this you it's like you realize that your current scenario is like a bead and your life is like that string that needs to go through various beats so it's like the soul has taken birth and has taken human form to go through uh, various experiences for its learning and evolution so then you somewhere allow that to happen instead of getting attached to one particular experience and remaining stuck there and continuously fighting it and not letting yourself experience all that is meant for you and that is the way to actually live your life and allow yourself to move from one experience to the other by being a neutral observer with higher awareness and with detachment and continue to put your best foot forward and do your best so it's not that because things are transient you stop doing your best and uh, because everything is going to change so you just kind of become laid back that's not the way so it is about putting your best in spite of uh, the awareness of the transientness of all that is so let us do the radical statements that will actually help us move on in this path so if all of you can uh, settle down and close your eyes and recite with me the radical statements i r5 my attachments i 
are five my attachments i are five my attachments i are five my insecurities i are five my insecurities i are five my insecurities i are five my indifference i are five my indifference i are five my indifference i are five not putting my best foot forward due to attachments i are five not putting my best foot forward due to attachments i are five not putting my best foot forward due to attachments i are five my association of indifference with detachment i are five my association of indifference with detachment i are five my association of indifference with attachment i are five my need for detachment i are five my need for detachment i are five my need for detachment and the affirmation for today is i pursue with detachment i pursue with attachment i pursue with detachment i pursue with detachment when you're comfortable you can open your eyes